then I'm gonna show you how to add a voiceover to your videos using Adobe Premiere Rush. So stick around. What's up everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by and for you returning visitors, thank you as well. A while back, people reached out to me regarding Adobe Premiere Rush and if it was possible to narrate or add your voiceover to videos and the answer is yes. I'm gonna share with you today how to do just that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and started a new project and added this video clip. What you're looking at right now is the video layer. So I wanna show you the audio layer that is attached to this and we'll do that by clicking on this button here. So now you can see this audio layer and that's actually a music track. I'll go ahead and play a little bit for you there. And you can see on the far right, there is this meter for the volume of audio. You can see that it's playing. I'll go ahead and pause it. So. So now let's go ahead and get ready to add a voiceover. And to do that, there's actually two ways. One is by clicking on this button on the lower left corner, and that will show us the additional audio layers that are there. You can add a voiceover, another music track. You can also add like a sound effect. So you have up to three layers. And there's a little microphone button there. If I click on it, it's actually now ready to record. If I press that red button, I can actually start recording. Before I do that, I want to show you another way how to get to this step right here and that is by clicking on this blue plus sign up here and then there is voiceover by clicking on that it actually gets you to this exact same step so there's two ways to get there the next step is actually using an input microphone like a usb microphone or an xlr setup the built-in microphones on computers or laptops they're great but you'll get kind of an echoey sound you don't want an echo sound you want a little more of a sharper, more direct sound. So for this, I'm actually going to be using this USB microphone. This one is by Fifine. It's about $40. I've actually done a review of this one. You can check it out up here or in the link in the description below in case you're interested in picking one up. I also have a link for that too. So I'll set this up about, you know, a hand away from my mouth here and set the volume not too high because I don't want it to distort. So let me see. That's about a hundred. So maybe go about 30% here. Not too, not too high. I just don't want it to distort. Um, so pretty much I'm all ready to go, except for a couple of more things. One is to go to preferences in Adobe Premiere Rush and make sure that this microphone is selected. You can see there is output. That's my speakers. And here is input. I'll go ahead and click so you can see there is the built-in microphone. I have a couple of other setups here. But this one right here is the USB PNP audio device. So I'm all set up here. And one last thing is to actually mute the music track from my video because I don't want the uh, sound to bleed into this microphone. So we're pretty much set. Let's see, we're about a good distance away. Uh, we can go ahead and start recording. We're going to press the button and get the countdown. Here we are enjoying a wonderful day. This shot was taken using a Mavic Mini. I shot this while my wife and daughter walked around the park. This was a lot of fun to shoot, getting the view of those trees from above. This was about winter time, so uh, the leaves were kind of starting to fall off and uh, kind of get ready for less green. So that was totally unscripted and wasn't really too worried about that this is just really for a demonstration i'm gonna go ahead and move this usb mic out of the way and as you can see there is the voiceover it even says right there voice over let me go ahead and kind of zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit more of that audio track that is getting closer and right there so you can see i have a little bit of extra kind of dead space at the end there so let me move the scrub line here make sure the voiceover is selected and we'll click on the scissors we'll go ahead and delete that extra space and i have a tiny bit up front make sure again select the voiceover and now we can delete this little extra here and now if i click here we can head over to the audio button up here on the right and as you can see here 
it says their voice and it's already set up as auto volume so auto volume is great it applies it to the whole track here it kind of adjusts those highs and lows so it's kind of evened out um, so here we go let's see how it sounds shot was taken using a mavic mini i shot this while my wife and daughter walked around the park now one thing i forgot to do here is actually turn the music track back on and one thing too here that you'll want to do is let's click on the audio track here and we'll choose the auto duck so what that will do is adjust the music so that it kind of fades out behind my voiceover so let's go ahead and play it all together from right here we'll have the music go here we are enjoying a so wonderful there, day. This shot you see the kind of music faded out. Using a Mavic Mini. And I let me shot fast forward here so as I kind of get ready to and, uh, head back out. Get ready for less green. And the music comes back up. Really cool. And those are the steps for adding a voiceover in Adobe Premiere Rush. I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use as you create your own stories and add your own narrations. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and thank you once again for stopping by and watching this video. And as always, be good to win another. Peace, I'm out.